Hey guys, Matt from TotalMTG here and welcome to this week's edition of Deck Tech Tuesday. So what brew have I got for you this week? I have made a Grixis God Control rotation proof deck. I'm loving my rotation proof decks at the moment. The good thing about Grixis Control is, is that yes it loses a few very nice cards like Kalitas, uh, Lilian of Last Hope maybe, Grasp of Darkness and the very important land Wonder Infernal. But it is still very, very, very strong. We can put these gods in here. We can hopefully do some shenanigans with the gods. And we've also got Torrential Gearhawks as well. And maybe one one little Planeswalker in the main that we show, you know, Nico Bolas. Who doesn't love big Nicky B? I love Nico Bolas. It, it doesn't, it can't, sometimes it wins you a game, but sometimes it doesn't. But it's still a very, very good card. And people do go, oh my god, it's Nico Bolas. They literally do for it and they panic about the board. I've seen it happen. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let's start looking at the creatures. We have one of each of these gods. We have the Scarab God, the Scorpion God, and the Locust God. They all do lots of good and fun and different things. The Scarab God can take things from graveyards and exile them and bring them back to the graveyard. Really, really good because we've got lots of destruction. The Scorpion God can put counters on stuff and obviously when something when counter dies, we get to draw a card. Which works well if we have, you know, if we're very lucky and have three gods out. That's the dream of this deck, having all three gods out at once. The interactions of all three together would just be absolutely epic. Um, and also, like I say, what's all good about these gods is when they actually do just kill them. Declaration Stone's going, so that's one of the exile spells out. But Cast Out is obviously still a card. Um, they do come back to your hand, which is really, really good. So they can spend it. Yes, we have to spend a lot of mana to get them onto the field. But they're still very powerful that you can just play it again. The other creature is the modern... Uh, modern? What am I talking about modern? It's a standard staple in control. It is Torrential Gearhawk. Two in the main, one in the side. Um, if you want to flip between one Nickel Bolas and three of these in the main, it, it's up to you. Because obviously I've got two Nickel Bolas as well. But the Torrential Gearhawk is, is, is our other type of wing con as well. Um, so like I said, Nickel Bolas is a two of. It comes in with seven loyalty counts. It does cost seven. But how could you not have this in the Grixis controller? I just really, really like it. It's a fun card. Nicky B. I call it Nicky B. That's what we call it on stream. It's just really, really fun. You know, it's got powerful. If I could ever get to the minus 12, that is the dream for me as well. Three gods on the field. Minus 12, Nicky B. That's what I want to do with this deck. So if you make it, if you do that, please let me know. So let's get on to the spells. And we have a lot of spells. We have a two of a braid. Two mana, instant speed, destroy target artifact. You can get some of those gear hulks. You can get something that's really annoying, Sky Sovereigns, anything like that. Heart of Kieran, it kills it, a braid, dead. Also, three damage to target creature. Very handy with the aggro creatures that are out at the moment. You know, random red stuff out there, playing stuff really quick. A braid, we've got two and one in the sideboard. Very, very good card. Sensor helps us draw cards. It's good late on. It can cycle, which I, I seem to use that more for cycling than I do for the counter spell. Um, but it's still a good card. Two mana or one mana to cycle. Very nice. If the Locust God's out, it's going to spit out some creatures as well. We also run one main board negate. We have got more on the sideboard. And then some nice little card draw. Pull from tomorrow. Get the triggers with the Locust God. Absolutely brilliant. Double blue. X spell. You draw X cards. Then you have to discard a card. But, you know, it's just a, it's like our Sphinx's Rev. I always say that without the life game. Another count spell. We've got a one of disallow. Just the one there. I didn't... You know, you might, I might flip it between one and two in testing, but at the moment I'm just having one. And then one of my favourite cards from Aura Devastation, which was Doomful. Bit of a nombo with Scarab God, obviously, because it exiles a creature he or she controls. But sometimes they've got that all-important, you know, creature that we can't get rid of with removal, like a, you know, like a Hydra that has Hexproof. Doomful, sometimes they're just left with that Hydra, and this can get rid of that Hydra. Doomful is a really, really good card. An exile something, maybe like Planeswalker or something really hard for us to deal with from the hand as well. Doomful is very adaptive. we got three of them in the main. I love that card. Destroy target creature or Planeswalker is what never does. And the return is where you get to exile something and put a 2-2 down. we got two of them in the main because there's a lot of Planeswalker, especially in like Team Orangey, the main board in Chandra's I'm finding online now. Um, which I don't know whether they did that before. But, you know, never is there. It's, it's a three-mana destroy Planeswalker. It's not really... Um, uh, what was the favourite card from Theros? Hero's Downfall. It's not Hero's Downfall, but it's still a very good card. We also have a full playset of Supreme Will. You get a counter that target spell unless they pay three. 
Or look at I seem to you some actually use um, use the second ability more where you look at the top four cards of your library, put one image in your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library. Super Imperial, like Doomfall, very versatile. They were great cards from Arrow Devastation. Sweltering Suns, destruction, three damage to all, or oh, a very expensive cycle. We got three of them. We also run a glimmer of genius. Four of them, scry two, draw cards. Great card, and the Hieroglyphic Illumination is there for an early cycle, maybe, or it does draw two cards, which is there for two of as a four mana. So we'll look at the land base now. Like I say, no wonder Infirmerals, but we have a playset of Canyons and Fetid Pools and Spiral Buff Canals. The Canyons and Fetid can be cycled late on if you want. Draw cards, interactions with the, spirit, uh, with the Locust God. I nearly called it the Spirit God there, the Locust God. And then we've got a, like, an array of um, basics, islands, mountains, and swamps. And obviously, like I said, the Spiral Bluff Canals. So before we get to the sideboard, you can see the idea of this deck, guys. It is rotation-proof. I think it is very strong now. Some of the rotation proofs, you know, are a little bit behind. But obviously, because with, with decks that are still playing uh, non-rotation-proof decks, you can see yourself beating or so. Although our decks, you know, the Mono Green Stompy definitely hasn't found that. And the mono black control deck hasn't really found that as well. So hopefully this one won't as well. But I think this could be left as is after rotation without even adding it to them cards. And it would still perform very, very well. So let's have a look at our sideboard. 15 cards. The one extra Torrential Gear Hulk, like I say. And the one extra Rebraid that I said as well. Chargers Defeat is there. I like that as a one-off. Five damage to target red, key, uh, red creature. Instant damage to a Glory Bringer. Or we can maybe get that Charger Planeswalker if we do redraw a card. Uh, this may need to be up to two, depending on your meta. But I do like Charger's Defeat in the sideboard. Well, our Hand Disruption, Lay Bear the Heart. Target Pan reveals their hand. You choose a non card, and they have to discard that card. Maybe we get some creatures in the graveyard then, just ready for the Scarab Cob to nick and bring back. Lay Bear the Heart, very good and interacts with that very, very well. Extra couple in the gates there, and we also have a couple of essence extraction because the three damage and gaining the three life can be very important to us. It is double black and one, but it's still a very good card. We do have a, our own couple of Chandra Torture Defiance in the sideboard. I like this coming from the sideboard. It could, some people could say argue it could be main because it's actually an, an epic card. But you know, we, we've got Chandra to bring in from the sideboard. So we also have three more one offs. We got a commit to memory there, and we also have a one off hour of glory. Exile target creature. If it's a god, you get to um, exile all cards from with, it with the same name. It does cost a four though, but if we're coming against you know different god decks, Hour of Glory is what you need. And one of uh, Hour of Devastation could easily make the main. Um, but I'm starting off with the sideboard because you know we do have gods in there and stuff like that. With that sort of toughness, we don't really want to just be keep killing them and stuff like that. But maybe, you know, our Devastation we can bring in. We do have Nikki B. Nikki B obviously has protection from that. So it's a very good card. But we're going to have it as a one-off in the sideboard. So this has been this week's Brew, guys. It's been Grixis God Control. Rotation proof. Let me know what you think of the deck. I am going to put this together on stream. Thanks to our sponsors, Mana Traders. We can play any deck in the world. Check out there all their links below, guys. I've got it in my description. If you play MTGO and you want to rent some great decks, use my code. I've got a code there to get your percentage off for six months. It's really, really good. Three different plans. And then you can just play any of my decks, any of your decks, any decks you want. It's really, really good. So make sure you also follow me on Twitch because then you will see this deck in action. I will record some gameplay hopefully as well for YouTube, so I won't forget all you guys over there as well. Don't forget that. Anyway guys, really, really hope you enjoyed this week's Deck Tech. If you are new to us, if you could press that like button and a subscribe, it really, really does help. I'm trying to get to 3,000 subs by Christmas. It's going to be very, very hard, but we're going to try and we're, you know, hopefully with all your support we will get there. And never forget that little bell because I'm worried some of you don't get to see some of the videos because you're like, I didn't see it. It's because that notification bell. YouTube has that funny bell. Now you've got to mark it, guys and girls. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video, which will be Friday's gameplay video. You lot take care and I'll speak to you soon.